Thanks for joining us today. We're excited to show you how easy and how simple this process is. So check out this video and enjoy. Okay, we're getting ready to do another sample board. We're gonna be doing uh, a request from Robert. We're gonna be doing our titanium base on the whole board, and then we're gonna do our purple dispersing effect. Now, since these are both dark colors, the dispersing might not show up as much, so we have our backup spray paint. If that doesn't work, we're gonna just miss the surface with spray paint and then disperse it, and we'll get more of that purple in there. Um, and if you guys are ordering kits for solid colors, Order the highlight color, the same color. That way you get more uh, powders for your, your highlight because they are separated. So just do, if you're doing the titanium, do titanium base coat, titanium highlight, and you would just mix all that together. That way you have extra pigment and extra epoxy. So I'm gonna do my base just like we always do. I like to pour around the edges. That's what usually takes the most time. go around my edges and get it close to that edge without really going over. If spots start to drip over, I'll just pull it back. And I usually use my roller like a squeegee just by applying a little pressure. If you guys haven't tried our resin, we sell sample kits for you to test it to see uh, the difference in the, in the products that we sell. Um, it's a good way to test before a large project so you guys can see how awesome the products are. You can get them on our uh, brochure. We'll have them on the website soon, but we sell a lot of those. And almost everyone that buys a sample kit winds up buying a big kit because they're so impressed with our resin. So now I'm just gonna spread this out. And I already know my edges are a little thin. So I'm just gonna push them to my edges. And then I'll show you a cool way to tell if you have thick spots out there that need to be rolled out a little better. So we'll just throw this around. So when you're doing your final test to see how good you spread it out, don't apply any pressure, just let the roller roll. And if it starts pushing a lot of product, you have a little thick there. See how we got some piles there? I'm not applying any pressure, I'm just letting it kind of glide. So that's showing me these are all thick spots. So I'm just gonna keep working these kind of back and forth until we get a good, even coat everywhere, and I'm not pushing a bunch of product because it's thick. And we'll do the same way this way. See how it's a good, even bead that it keeps pushing to that edge? That means we got a good, even coat everywhere. So I'm happy with that. Now what I'm gonna do is just hit my edges, roll a little on the top, roll a little on the edge. Notice how these bubbles, every time I move it, it creates some bubbles. So we're putting air into it, but it's popping all on its own. That's because of the additives that we put in our resins. don't have to torch our products. The only reason you'll get bubbles in it is if you overwork it and it starts to set up and get sticky and it doesn't allow those bubbles to escape and pop. If you 
get to that point from overworking and taking too long to put it down, you would just mist it with some denatured alcohol. See, if I try to just keep rolling the edge, it doesn't put much product on there. So I roll the top, roll the edge, and we got a good amount on those edges. So since we're doing one color, I'm gonna swirl this because I want these metallics to be agitated so we get a, some good depth in it. So I'm just lightly swirling it all. Different ways, I don't wanna just swirl the same pattern. See how it's all random? Everything's kind of random out there. That's what we're looking for. Now we'll take our 91% isopropyl alcohol and we have our purple, our deep purple metallic powder mixed into it. And so when you're doing this, you really want to shake it as you go. And if it gets clogged and it's not spraying, just tilt your bottle back and forth like this. And it usually unclogs the uh, powders that are in the, the filter there. So we want to do a test spray, make sure we get some good drips. That's looking really good. Now I'm going to hit the board. And it looks like we're going to have some decent color out there. So I'm probably not going to use the, the purple spray paint. Remember, shake it up as you go. And we'll probably have to hit this again in about a half an hour because a lot of this is going to settle out so if you're trying to do this technique you'll come back in like 10 minutes and it'll, in a 10 20 minutes and it, it'll kind of dissipate a little we'll just spray it again and it'll bring back all these cells if you want more color just keep shaking it and spritzing it and I like the bigger drips because it creates more of the, the bigger cells So that's pretty much it. We'll let this sit. We'll, we'll come back in about 20 to 30 minutes and, and we'll look at it again and we'll probably do the same exact spray on it. All right, so it's been about a half an hour. We still have the effects, really cool, but I'm gonna hit it again just so we get more. Um, and if you notice these, these little streaker marks, those are from debris and dust falling in here. We are in the warehouse. We have guys sweeping right now, so if there's dust falling in it. Um, so if you guys get that, just try to keep dust to a minimal, just like always, but that's what that's from. Something falling in there, the resin's leveling out, and it's moving around those particles, and it's creating these little streamers. So that's what that's from. So I'm gonna spray it again, and you'll see it'll, it'll bring back that, all those cells again. And again, it's been about 20, 30 minutes, and you can tell how it brings it right back. And these will, every time you do it, it'll stay more and more. After about 45 minutes, you don't want to really spray it again or it can dimple out the surface. Notice I'm doing bigger drops. I like the big drops. Make sure you get all your edges. If you have missed spots, hit those and go around and kind of touch up the spots you want. Try to shake your bottle as you're doing it. Okay, I like it. All right guys, so we'll leave that. We'll show you after it's dry. It's gonna look really cool, nice and subtle piece. Um, really simple to do. All right guys, so I wanna show you the, how the board looks the next day. It's been about 24 hours. Uh, turned out really cool. Thanks to Robert for the idea. Really subtle look, but again, sky's the limit with this stuff. So awesome, awesome piece. Let us know what you guys thought. Hey like all your friends, thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that like button. 
The video you just watched was requested by one of our subscribers. So if you have any cool color combinations or designs and techniques you would like to see, go ahead and drop them in the comment section below. We would love to hear from you. See you guys next time.